Hey guys, in this video, we're actually going to review all the different reports that are available in C-Stroke Pro. Uh, and in essence, enjoy the fruits of our labor. Uh, by now, you should have actually started entering in all of your day reports in the system uh, and started doing that on a daily basis. Should have started you know, managing your scratch-offs in C-Stroke Pro, as well as your fuel, your grocery purchasing and retailing, and all of your banking expenses and entries that are happening in your bank account. Assuming those five components are being done on a regular basis, you can actually start getting all sorts of reports and insights into C-Store Pro. Uh, one of the most popular reports, obviously, is you want to know what your P&Ls are for that month or your net, net worth or assets and liabilities are. So if you go into Report Center and you go into the net worth, based on all the entries that are happening, if you want to know what your net worth is, uh, you can click on run report and it'll tell you that you started off with this much, your closing balance is this much, this is your cash flow difference, um, and where your money is basically going, right? This is all your assets, and these are all your liabilities, and then this is your net worth, right? So this is basically your actual net worth and this is your cash flow uh, for this time frame. You can also run your profit report for that same time frame or the month before. So let's say for example, I want to run my profit report for the month of February. Based on all my entries and everything like that, this is my profit, uh, you know, this is my expenses, all the different expenses that I have, and this is my total income, my total profit, my sales tax, my gross profit, what my report short over is for that time frame, what my net profit is, before I need grocery or inventory or you know fuel adjustments and then obviously what my profit distribution and my, my cash flow is at that point. Uh, you can even go down into details. You have your day closings. You can run your day closing monthly totals, summaries, check cashing, etc. You have your fuel. You can run your purchase reports if you wanted to and say you want to run your purchase report for this month for all of it day by day and you can run this report and you get your purchase log uh, day by day. You have your gas reports as well, which we already talked about in different components. Lottery reports, services, you can get your commission agent bill pay, money transfer, money order. All these reports are available. The main report is obviously your profit report and your net worth report that you can start actually utilizing in the system the moment you start uh, you know, doing all the components that we talked about in the earlier trainings. Well, so this is the report basically for your company financials. We also have raw POS data. This is basically data that's coming in raw from your register. I know we covered this in an earlier session as well, but we'll kind of cover it here uh, just to recap everything. You have your POS data dashboard, which will basically tell you what your sales were for yesterday's you know, day closing and what your hourly trends are as well. And it'll give you a component by component breakdown. You can run this report for any time, you know, time frame you can run it for this year you know last year this last month if you want to run it and you'll get the last month sales etc um, you also have your z report which is your you know uh, total you know department sales fuel sales everything like that you have your department sales breakdown so for example if i run my department sales report by you know month and i just run it for february run the report, it'll give me my department sales, right? It'll tell me my total, my discounts, promotions, refunds, voids, and then my net sales for each of my departments. You have the same thing for your fuel and you can also do your sales comparison. You can even go down into the details of your item level sales. If you wanted to come in here, look at your, you know, let's say I wanted to look at my top beers items for last month. I can run this report and based on my cost and everything like that I can get you know what my total profits have been for each one of these components so these are all the different basically reports that are available sales by hour items you know sales by item so let's say for example I wanted to see this particular item and what I'm selling and what I'm selling I can go here reports item sales run this report for that time frame and it'll basically give me a breakdown of what my item sales are for that, right? How many I sold on each one of these days. So this is a really cool, nice little report. It'll give you your margins and all that stuff here as well. Uh, very beneficial, I guess, if you want to track item level sales for your, you know, basically items, products. So that's pretty much the gist of all the reports that are available. This is the fruits of your labor uh, from everything that you've been doing so far. 
Um, hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Uh, in the next video, we'll kind of cover some administrative tasks, security features, you know, assigning different users and all that stuff. So thank you guys. Um, you know, this was a quick, quick little video just to give you an overview of everything. Now keep in mind different reports are also available in each one of these components and they're typically pretty self-explanatory.